Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Ahoy, viewers! Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Black Flag video. In this case, it is the hunt for Charles Vane and exploration of Isla Provinci Provincia. Um, Charles and Kenway are set adrift after a mission, and they end up here, and Charles goes mad. And Kenway has to hunt him down and stop him in order to live in peace. Now, this is inaccessible until you get to a certain point. And Isla Provincia is home to the Red Howler Monkey, which Kenway needs to hunt in order to get a certain outfit. Now, I'm going to do some fast forwarding from time to time because this is a very long mission. And then the exploration of this area after Kenway gets to the mainland and or NASA and succeeds in getting vain. Well, again, I have to splice a couple of videos together. And I wish I would have started at the beginning, but I digress. And we're getting near the main mission, so I will let things play out here. Don't dance with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me, and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker! Now let's work this out like gentlemen! Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you paid me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew. At this point, it becomes a chase through the woods for... Kenway to find Vane, but while he's on his way to find Vane, he can do some things like locate a Mayan stone and maybe find some high points and some hunting as well. And, you know, just explore a little bit where he can and take the opportunity. Otherwise, once he hunts Charles Vane down, it gets interesting. And one more stone. Activating and synchronizing viewpoints in all locations is essential. Not only do you have the ability to fast travel to the location once you activate a viewpoint, you can fast travel around the location from viewpoint to viewpoint once you've synchronized them. I said not to follow! 
Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean so! Now you're going to have to dart from cover to cover to avoid getting killed by Vane, who's going to throw grenades and shoot at Kenway. And again, you got to time it. If you end up dead, you desynchronize and you start at a certain point. Like right now, Kenway's hurt, but he won't die. He's got the flashing red counter. He won't desynchronize. Like, you got to time it out, and it sucks. And you may end up a few times getting killed. So be careful. Time things out. You can't take the high road. You can't get behind Vane in this case. And it's very difficult. And again, I tried looking for a way to get around or get behind him. And I couldn't. So you got to be a little more thinking and moving, dodging, weaving. Otherwise, uh, yeah, Vane will kill you. And he's nuts. After looking around and trying to find somewhere to dodge and hide, uh, I decided to move Kenway forward and come at Charles Vane. You got to take a look around, and he's going to lob grenades and shoot at Kenway. There's no way to take the high road. You got to just move from cover to cover. Again, it's a slow process. Blow off some lame. As soon as you get close enough to Charles Vane to strike, he leaves and the chase continues. Kenway has to bob and weave through the woods to another point where Vane will set up traps and try and kill him. At this point, Vane has set up traps, as you can see with the explosive barrels, and you have to worry about animals. There's panthers and alligators that can kill you in this area, and Vane has set up the traps to where, well, you could end up dying. Now you're in another dilemma, and either you hit the ground and there's a panther that will kill you, or you cross the bridge and get blown up by the cask of gunpowder. The sad part is you start off in the same area where you have to follow Charles Vane again and catch him, which again it's fleeing through the woods and getting to the part where the panther and the exploding barrels are, which yeah, you got to redo a whole part of it. That's what I was kind of not liking about Assassin's Creed. They didn't save often enough, and you often had to spend another two or three minutes redoing something. So I'm going to fast forward to 
where Kenway gets to a certain point and succeeds. I decided to avoid the explosive barrel and have Kenway take on the Panther. You can fight him off, but you got to find somewhere to get above the Panther. And after multiple times of fighting him off, yeah, jump on the rocks and hopefully try and kill the Panther and then get back up to the high road and fight and hunt Charles Vane down. Well, I decided to get up onto the tree stand and I avoid the exploding barrel. But now it's time to take down the panther. And once he gets to within the area where I can air assassinate him, then I'll take him down and ha have a black panther pelt here. And let's see, position myself. Now nah, I'm just going to keep going over the high road and work my way around and continue to pursue Vane. I th wait here. There may be uh, a chest. Yeah. Now, hopefully, I can move on and pursue Vane here. Actually, I'm now going to take the opportunity to air assassinate the Panther and eliminate one possible threat to Kenway and then move on to pursue Vane. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, well, sir. Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly boat. Yeah, this is the part where I try and uh, make some darts which are useless because Kenway doesn't have a blowpipe. And so you either have to work your way around and time things out to eventually get behind Vane and air assassinate him, or you end up getting desynchronized a couple times. The good part is, if you do die during this event, you don't have to come running all the way back. It saves, and that's why, in a sense, I'm crafting because it saves here, and hopefully. It won't get overridden. Not dead yet. Here. Again, it's just going to be bob and weave and work your way toward Vane and hopefully not die. So I'm going to fast forward to, again, a certain point where Kenway is successful. Okay, one last hit. And now while Vane reloads, get in under him and into the temple, recover, and start the climb up the temple behind Vane. He doesn't pursue Kenway. And yeah, now can we can get up and climb around the temple and take down Vane. You can't hide, can we? You goddamn fucking A Vane! <laughs> Nancy boy! You've only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Hornigold was right. 
Maybe the world does need men of ambition. Stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regret. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. Of course, Kenway gets off the island with Vane, and in the end, you can return to Isla Provincia and explore, which is the other part of this video. After you capture Charles Vane and go through some exposition and reacquire the Jackdaw, you can return to Isla Provincia. Densia and finish out and explore if you so choose. Now, once you travel back to Isla Provencia, there are many things that you have to do, like get the second Mayan statue, um, hunt for treasure chests, discover some mysteries, and help out and save a pirate. You are man. I will save you off my boots. My thanks. I'm your man now. Now that Kenway has acquired two crew, a little time for some looting, and then the long slog through exploring and discovering what is in Isla Provincia. With the exception of assassination missions, I like to clear out a uh, area. Find all the mysteries, high points, etc. And there is a lot for Isla Province. <laughs> sorry, Provin Provincendencia. And I'm going to fast forward through a lot of it to make the video shorter. Using high points to fast travel. Again, you always want to unlock those. Not only can you fast travel to the discovered location, you can fast travel within the discovered location. Already, I've unlocked another treasure chest, and then there's some other things to unlock, like this message. Again, there's a reward for acquiring those. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through and use again a lot. Now, there's a treasure map, and the location is very generalized, but I will get to that eventually. This is the area. It should be uh, the wrecked ship and the general area. Finding this, it gives 4,000 in currency. So, nah, this is not the area. I will eventually get back to this treasure map. I will fast forward to some other areas and eventually figure out this treasure map thing. I wasted a lot of time for nothing, so I cut back and the best way to explore an area is to kind of figure it out, look at the map, and work your way from one area to another and clear things out. I will fast forward through until I get to an important Parts. Isla Provincia is essential to hunting and crafting. It has black panthers and red howler monkeys. Unfortunately, it pops up late in the game, 
And if you're trying to advance Kenway with crafting, you can get Black Panthers in other areas, but the Red Howl or Monkey is the only place is Isla Provincia where you can find that animal for crafting. And synchronizing and unlocking viewpoints are allowing you to fast travel, not only to the location, but around the location. Jaguars travel in pairs, and there's another one across the river. You can take him down or hunt for chests. There is always that danger in Isla Provincia that you'll be attacked by jaguars. There's also crocodiles, but you just got to stay out of the water when it comes to crocodiles. This video is already fairly lengthy, so thank you for sticking around. I'm going to do some cuts to the final chests and fragment, and we will get to the end here. At this point, they decided to go back and look for the treasure map because the next fragments and treasure chest are closer to this location than other locations. Again, unlocking the viewpoints and synchronizing helps you travel around an area very quickly. Now, this map is confusing. In the end, it turns out that. The X on there is a little incorrect, and around the area here, and I'm looking around, again, I spent a lot of time looking for this, and eventually it dawned on me that maybe the location of the X is wrong, and usually with Eagle Vision, you can kind of find the location. So I went back and decided to trace things out here. It's not in this area, but if I walked back to a certain area and took a look, well, okay, I'm fast traveling to a high point. I got to synchronize this high point in order to get to certain areas. You can't fast travel. Um, yeah, I just got to run to that high point, which is what I'm going to do, is cut to that high point for synchronizing. Once you get to the location of the final high point, it's revealed to be a restricted area with British troops. And, well, you got to fight your way through. A sleep dart 
or Berserker Dart helps out, but in the end, you're still going to have to fight a bunch of British troops and get to the final high point and some other things like the treasure chest and Mayan stone. There's still a lot of work to be done, and air assassinating a British troop and taking on this guy, well, it's fun, but there's still an animus fragment, a treasure chest, and a Mayan stone to look for, and there's the animus fragment. Ah, another Mayan keystone. And there you have it. Isla Provencidia is completely explored. Now to go back to the treasure map and find that, which is in the area that I had originally looked at. I had to rethink the treasure map. I'm going to cut to that and where Kenway does find the treasure.
It turns out the map is a little off. The location for the buried treasure is between the three trees. And once you dig it up, it's 4,000 in gold, which is a substantial amount. Not an elite weapon thing, but hey, you can always use 4,000 gold. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Oh, wait, no, this is design plans for fire barrel storage. Hey, cool. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave some comments. And if you like this type of video, I post four videos a week. And you don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and you will be notified when I post videos, and you can watch them at your leisure. As always, thanks for stopping by.